Dear Peter, one of those second class patients that we know, whatever we might do, will still look like a second class patient. Here, he was seven, and as the world famous Ajodo paper states, we should avoid the devilish temptation of early treatment of second classes. No advantages, they state, compared to a single face treatment, which is pretty much a functional appliance of your choice, immediately followed by braces at puberty. You can find the link to this paper in the description. Have a look at it. So, let's avoid temptation and wait. But temptation knocks again at our door one and a half years later. Just to reinforce our faith, we again read the abstract of that paper and we patiently wait. After 18 more months, the time to start the treatment has finally come. The protrusion of upper incisors is associated with a deep bite and the short lower third of the face unfortunately decreases the labial mental angle, which will remain a constant trait of Peter's face. What we can do is to just try to move the chin a little bit forward with a functional appliance. It's more or less a year before puberty and we're good to go. We chose a Herbst appliance. It is a fixed appliance with two bands on upper and lower molars that retain a metal piston, which forces the mandible forward. No need for compliance, thus it is terribly effective. It used to break a lot, but improvements in materials and design, and also our learning curve, have made it a pretty reliable choice. Expect, however, some late evening rendezvous to deal with emergencies. After a year or so of Herb's appliance, the chin has moved forward, and since we did it during the pubertal growth spurt, the mandible has elongated and has repositioned forward due to a certain amount of glenoid fossa remodeling. Great! Except for the fact that now we have 7 mm of posterior open bite, a typical situation after the use of this appliance. So, let's put some braces on. Second class elastics here are mandatory if we do not want a relapse of the mandible. And at 13 years old, there's the final result. Second class mechanics have doomed the patient to some degree of residual deep bite. And negative torque on posterior segments tell us we could have done better waiting a little bit longer with expanded steel arch wires. However, profile has gotten better. And most important, the patient is very happy with his new smile. As for the evidence we had in 2004, there is no advantage in early treatment of class 2. Some years after that study, a Cochrane review came out, which is now updated as of 2018. This review confirms, and you can also find a link to it in the description, that there is no advantage whatsoever in early treatment of class 2. They actually call it prominent upper teeth. Except for the fact, except for the fact, that early class 2 treatments result in a significant lower risk of trauma on upper incisors. Hmm. We were curious about that. And we went back to watch Peter's photographs. And this is exactly what happened. Upper incisors trauma, somewhere in between 7 and 8 and a half years of age. And this, for us at least, is a more than justifiable reason to start class 2 treatments earlier next time.